I love most about living in California. I grew up in California, so it's first and foremost my home. Like I genuinely love it here, and I argue with people who are constantly complaining because you have everything and anything two hours away. So living in LA, in two hours I can be in snow, in two hours I can be at the beach, in two hours I can be in the desert. You can go anywhere and be anywhere. And I also don't like being cold. And so naturally, I feel like I'm just destined to live in LA. I love the weather, uh, my family's here. I feel like this is just where my life is. I think a lot of innovation happens in California, and that makes me really excited. I think when it comes to science and engineering, I think this is a, 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 one of the most forefront places to be outside of America in general. I think that other countries are also doing amazing work in that field, but I think that when looking at the states, California has a really good, beautiful hybrid of minds and intellect. I married somebody who's super into all things you know, tech-based or internet or any sort of innovation in technology. And so I've always heard about, call it blockchain or Web3 or NFTs, whatever is like I swear you want to pick. And I was like, well, this seems like an interesting venture. Like no one's done this so far or yet. I went up to him and I was like, hey, has there been a show that's been put on Web3, an animated show with a, a component of NFTs to it? And at that point there hadn't been. And he was like, no. And I was like, can I technically do it? And he was like, yeah. And that was kind of how it happened. But like, do I view Web3 as the future of entertainment? I think that Web3 and traditional entertainment go hand in hand. So I think people should look at it as an innovation and as a baby. And it's something that is gonna make mistakes and it's gonna take time to create the rules and create the regulations and, and make it a safe environment. But I think the beautiful thing versus Web2 is in Web3, the rules and regulations are being set by the people for better or for worse. How am I going to approach my kids on the internet? We teach them about the internet already. So I think simply being like, the internet is full of lies. You cannot believe everything you read. You have to do your homework. You have to do your due diligence. Never tell anybody on the internet what your name is. Never tell them where you live. Like, I mean, the simple things my kids already know. You know, having kids changes everything. I, I remember playing video games and everybody being in open arms over having first person shooter games and having that be like the demise of society and being like that's the problem. And I was like oh so we're blaming video games on on what's happening in society. Oh okay so we're not taking ownership of anything we're just pointing fingers. And I think the thing with Web3 is people are taking ownership of their mistakes. Ideally and um, and it is all it's a little bit like the inmates running the silence right now, where like you just hope that the loud, which are the good, overtake the loud that are the bad.